Yo guys, what is going on? It is your boy Michael back in the three video for you guys. And today, what I have for you guys is a huge video regarding Call of Duty 2016, its marketing plans, as well as a Fire and Ice teaser trailer that might actually be coming out tomorrow on April 24th, 2016. So if you guys think you will actually enjoy this video, please make sure to leave a big fat thumbs on it, up on it, guys. Let's aim for 10 likes on today's video. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. All the way to 230 subs subscribers, and yeah, let's get right on into today's video. So basically you guys, an Activision insider, like an industry insider of Call of Duty, actually supposedly leaked this all this info on Reddit, so I will leave a link in the description below to this Reddit post. Basically, he left all the like uh mar supposed marketing details for Destiny as well as Call of, Call of Duty 2016, all the all of the marketing details for both of these games. So we're just gonna ignore the Destiny part and we'll get right on into the Call of Duty part. First off, we have we have the Fire and Ice teaser trailer that's gonna be released supposedly on April 24th, 2016, which is tomorrow. Hopefully, that actually comes out. We are long overdue for a teaser trailer. Next up, on the day after that, on April 25th, we have the pre-orders that are available. And then right after that, on May 24th, about just about a month after, uh, we had the reveal trailer at Activision PlayStation event, just like the official of reveal trailer. I cannot wait for that. For June 11, which is my birthday, all access live stream by Infinity Ward single player demo showcase. So of course, this is a day before E3 starts. They're just going to be like live streaming the single player demo just to give you a taste of what you could actually be playing at the at the June 12 to 15 demo that was actually going to be available to play at the PlayStation booth at E3. Next up, we have July 22nd, which is the Survival Mode 2.0 Showcase slash trailer at San Diego Comic-Con. Of course, last year's Zombies was actually revealed at San Diego, San Diego Comic-Con, so this is not a surprise for this year. Also, for the like second mode to actually be re revealed there. Um, I'm pr actually su kind of surprised that Extinction is not going to be there, but we hopefully we'll find out some more details about that soon. Next up, we have the Multiplayer Reveal trailer that is going to be coming out on August 19, 2016 during Gamescom, and of course the multiplayer play is going to be playable at Gamescom, which is really awesome. The beta announcement is going to be at Gamescom, as well as on September 14th, the beta trailer is going to be coming out. Then right after that, about like a week or so after, this is going to be sub on during September 23rd to 26th, is going to be the PS4 open beta, which is some huge news, guys. I can't wait for the open beta. It's going to be sick, guys. Oh my gosh. And then from September 30th to October 3rd, it's going to be the Xbox One, as well as, I'm uh, assuming, the PC open beta for all of us other guys that are not on playstation and next up on october 11 it's going to be the single player trailer and next up on october 25th is going to be the launch trailer which is pretty cool but uh something pretty weird about that is that it's pretty like maybe like about 10 days or so like i forget like two weeks before the actual release date which is pretty fishy uh that's not normally what happens uh, right after that, on November the 5th, they have the live action trailer, which are always like pretty cool to watch, pretty awesome to watch. And next up, right after that, on no the November 11, 2016, it is going to be the release date for this next up and coming Call of Duty game. So, uh, make sure to um, like actually like take this all with a grain of salt, guys, because we do not know if this is actually confirmed or not. Uh, anyone could actually go on Reddit and just say that they are an, an industry insider of Call of Duty or just like of Activision and just say anything that they want. But so uh, this actually looks really legit. Uh, to be honest, I don't see anything wrong with this. Uh, maybe that the only thing that I don't see that I see wrong with it is like there's no extinction. But maybe they they just saw that that wasn't really doing that well, so they're bringing back survival mode. Who knows? But uh, we will have to find out as time goes on. Um, if you guys actually enjoyed this video, please make sure to hit that like button, guys. Let's aim for 10 likes on this video, like I said before. Please subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. And if you guys want to stay for the latest and greatest Call of Duty content, I will be posting on my channel for this whole, like, uh, daily, every single day. I'll be posting the latest and greatest Call of Duty content. So make sure to hit that subscribe button. You will not be disappointed. And make sure to leave your comments down below what you guys think of this marketing plan. And uh, if you guys think it'll be actually be real or fake. So you guys, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. And I'm up, guys. Peace.